This is hemoglobin, a really complicated looking molecule that makes up 90% of each red blood cell. And it's this big. And this is Abraham Lincoln, the 16th US president. He's this big. He's famous for writing the Gettysburg Address and carrying around mail in his top hat. He's featured on the US penny, which is worth one cent and is this big. Lincoln has a brain that enables him to do things like give speeches and pick out hats. And for that, his brain requires a whole lot of oxygen, which is why he has a circulatory system filled with blood so that he can bring all this oxygen from his lungs to places like his brain. And hemoglobin is what makes this possible. Hemoglobin's complicated structure allows it to bind to oxygen in one place, deliver it exactly to where it needs to be, and then let it go. Each hemoglobin molecule is made up of more than 9,000 atoms, but transports only four oxygen molecules. If this is a molecule of oxygen, a hemoglobin molecule would be this big. This may seem inefficient, but it's the most efficient transport system out there. Each red blood cell is packed with 280 million hemoglobin molecules. If this is a hemoglobin molecule, this is how many each red blood cell can hold. And this is how big a red blood cell would be. And with 30 trillion of those in his body, that's a lot of hemoglobin. So without hemoglobin, we'd all be dead. Thanks, hemoglobin.